Hey everyone, it's Jason with Huck Adventures. Really excited to bring you this unboxing video of the Koros Vertix 2. So I have been a huge fan of Vertix over the last three years. I've had their Apex watch and it has been a very, very trusty watch to have with me on the trail for different ultra marathons. The Vertix 2 takes it to the next level. Um, in this video, we are going to just be doing an unboxing, getting it set up on our my iPhone and going through looking at some of the features. So we'll be diving in a lot further in the coming weeks, uh, but just really excited to kind of show you these initial thoughts. First, let's take a look at the packaging. So the watch comes with this heavy waterproof case. The presentation itself is pretty amazing. The watch is nestled inside. You have the watch unit itself, and the two bands in gray. So below that, you also have the charging cable, which is unique for Koros. It's a USB with a connector to the watch that has three prongs. And to the left of the charging cable is the user guide um, that also has some stickers with it as well. Now, while this case is cool, there isn't much practical use. The watch is meant to be worn, so what else could the box be used for? I hate the idea of throwing it away, so I'll probably use this for cord storage, but I could also see it being great for trips and keeping my Koros charger, cell phone charger, and other cords organized. Let's go ahead and pull all these watch pieces out. So, here's the watch. And let's, uh, let's peel off this sticker. And then we can snap these bands on. So they snap on with a quick fit style adapter that makes it really easy to swap bands or place the watch in a custom Koros carabiner that can be used for climbing. So just as a quick note on weight, so the watch itself comes in at 89 grams. Um, for comparison, my Koros Apex is 55 grams. So prior to recording this video, I did get the watch fully charged and something I should note. So before you use any new battery powered electronic, please make sure you charge it fully before use. So I've also owned Koros's Apex watch over the last three years. So just as a quick side-by-side -side comparison, you can kind of see a little bit of the difference as, as it relates to the size of it. Um, the Koros Vertex is definitely bigger, a little bit more bulkier, but with that you get a heck of a lot more features. So now let's get this thing set up. Now Koros has a handy app that we can use to set up this watch. So let's walk through this real quick. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go and add this watch, and then we'll step through the menu itself. So right now what I'm doing is syncing it to so with this we'll scan the QR code on the front of the watch and proceed through the setup itself. Um, this just takes just a, a couple of seconds here. So and we'll just step through each of these menus. Um, again, it's very intuitive, very simple to, to go through, selecting which wrist to use, uh, selecting where the dial is at. 
So with these watch bands, you can change where it's at. Um, additionally, you can turn on specific notifications. So for myself, I don't like having a lot of notifications, so I just have the call feature on. And from there, just going through and selecting whether or not I want to set up fresh or whether I want to use existing user settings. And for myself, since I'm an existing Koros user, I am maintaining the settings that it has uh, with my other Koros watch. And there you have it. So fairly easy to get set up. So now let's just start walking through some of these features. So this is the default watch face. So the watch face is customizable both on the app and on the watch. This watch face was the default one once I had set up the watch and I liked it enough not to change it. Blue is my favorite color, so the highlights were perfect. Plus it shows on the home screen all the information I like to have at my fingertips. Time, date, steps, calories burned, battery life. The only thing I might customize later is the sunrise sunset feature. But the other piece too, so by default, I have the watch's lock screen on. So to, just for comparison, to unlock the Koros Apex, I have to rotate the dial to unlock which has always been a bit of a pain, especially during activities. Um, but with the Vertex 2, you can rotate the dial to unlock it as well, but a much easier way is to push the dial itself to unlock. When the watch is unlocked and you start to rotate the dial, you start getting all the different widgets. As you can see, this is my day's worth of metrics, calories burned, um, activity time, uh, steps, shows, floors, walked, my fitness performance, impact load, recovery, heart rate data, sleep information, elevation, sunset, sunrise, barometric pressure at measurement, temperature, training plan, and an area for update notifications. So you can also click in to one of these metrics to get greater detail. The other nice thing about this watch is that it is a touch screen as well. So with this, I can drag my finger back and forth to be able to see certain times during the day and what that activity level was. So the other thing we'll point out is that this is a three button watch. So the very top one is to bring on the light for the watch. We have the dial, of course, that also functions as a button. And on the bottom, uh, we have this additional button that we can bring in the overall main menu. And we can scroll through, see some of these other features as well. So with these features in this toolbox that it has, tons of different features. There's the music, camera control, do not disturb, compass, heart rate, oximeter, HRV test, battery, metronome, ultra max. So the thing with the ultra max is if you plan to be on the trail for more than 140 hours, turn this off, or I'm sorry, turn, turn it on. Um, otherwise, leave it off. It'll reduce your GPS tracking and save battery life. But if you want all the data, uh, leave the ultra max off. So navigation, maps, it has a save location, satellite signal, and it'll show you all the satellites, including all the ones that you'll see with the dual frequency mode. Stopwatch, timer, alarm, watch face, night mode, system settings. So one of the things I'll point out on the music feature is that it'll load MP3 files from your computer. There currently is an ability to use the streaming service, but to connect, you can go into system settings and pair a Bluetooth enabled headphones uh, through the system settings. So let's back out of there and let's talk about sport modes. So if you click on the dial, you'll see a, a list of available sport modes. This list is completely customizable. You can add or hide certain modes depending on your usage. Each sport mode is also customizable as well. You can show what metrics you want displayed during your sporting activity. But they have everything from running, biking, hiking, skiing, uh, one cool feature is the multi-sport. 
So with this, you can go through and select and add up to three sports sessions. So, which is perfect for doing triathlons, Ironman events, or if you, you have a day where you're going to be just out and about doing different activities. So when you go through and you select an activity, you'll see that as you click in, if it is a GPS enabled uh, activity, such as running, that it'll go through and try to connect via satellite and also try to require a heart rate before it starts. And you can see that little acquiring uh, satellite symbol um, currently recording this in the basement so it's not going to pick anything up um, additionally if you saw those little green lights that's trying to read a heart rate so it'll prompt you to to start once it has acquired both the satellite signal and your heart rate and there you have it Thanks for watching all the way through. Um, so we've had the Verdicts 2 for about three weeks and really excited about it. Um, I mean, the watch itself, I mean, got it right here. It has been three weeks, three and a half weeks since I first charged it. And I've got 36% left of my battery. That's one of the big things about Koros. I mean, their battery life is unmatched and that's, you know, 36% left using it just about every day, hour of activity that it's tracking every day, wearing it during sleep time, tracking my sleep. So it's doing a lot of work, and yet I have 36% left after three and a half weeks. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. Stay tuned for more in-depth feature coming up in the next few weeks.